Did I say exa? I think I did. Exa. Fill it. Exa. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that anymore. Fill X! And uh, check it out. We have a 1966. Bang! My birth year. Epiphone. Bang! Right there. Coronet Dwight! Bang! Um, Dwight model. Written right there on the uh, truss rod cover. And this color is Silver Fox. Because it's super silver foxy. <laughs> and it's 1P90, which is, uh, this is actually my favorite wood and pickup makeup. 1P90 and a slab of mahogany. Uh, I wish it was a little thicker for me, but this thing actually sounds amazing. Uh, it weighs 5.6 pounds. I'm going to let you know who used this thing in a second. I've been screwing around with this guitar and the full tone OCD overdrive pedal into the Evil Robot C30. I was thinking I was jamming on a little Jamie's crying and sound a little bit like this. <laughs> Um, so let's go backwards a little bit. Uh, uh, we're gonna go into the uh, box AC30 so we can get some cleans. Gonna, t gonna tune the B up because it's gotta be up a little bit. Cause it's gotta be a little flat for Jamie's crying. <laughs> you can totally funk out, man. Sexy, 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 funky. It's the chili peppers. Really, really old chili peppers. All right? Don't give me the look. Hey, what are you looking at? What? <laughs> okay, so we only have a volume and tone because we only have one pickup. Okay, you can find a sweet spot. And another sweet spot. You can do that all day long. All right. Let's go up here full blast and let's go back into the, into the, don't fall, into the <laughs> evil robot. Okay, you know who used to use this? Steve Marriott from Humble Pie when he wasn't using the White Falcon at uh, Gretsch. So uh, I did this song before and it was like 30 years ago. No, wait, when did we start doing this? Two years ago? Something like three years? Really? Let me tell you something, man. When I was a kid, I was a huge Ted Nugent fan. I was 11. I think I went to Maple Leaf Gardens to see Ted Nugent, and Humble Pie opened up before Steve Marriott died. And that was the first time in my life I heard about titties. Because <laughs> uh, Steve Marriott was going through a titty phase. I swear this is a true story. And they opened up for Ted Nugent, 
And they, they, did, they had a song called uh, I'm a Fool for a Pretty Face. And Steve Murray was like, here's a song called I'm a Fool for a Great Pair of Tits. And I thought, wow. I was a kid. And I was like, that can't be the title of the song. It really can't. <laughs> but, and it's not. But I didn't know that. But the song was like, I'm a fool for a pretty face. I'm a fool for a pretty face. Now, it could be, I'm a fool for a great pair of tits. I'm a fool for a great pair of titties. All right. Um, I know. I hope you're laughing. That's the intention completely. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's check it out. Let's, let's see what this thing can do, man. Let's do something like Okay, I'm just gonna say, man, that was awesome. Because and it wasn't me. I was just playing okay, but this guitar sounds incredible. Now, um, bring me to another point. Now that we only have one pickup, I can do a little bit more talking. <laughs> I know you're thinking, no, don't talk, please. But too bad, because uh, I've been getting a lot of mail lately about people like, man, I'm in a rut, and I don't know what else to do with the pentatonic scale. And uh, that was all pentatonic, baby. All that, that was pentatonic. That whole, that was pentatonic, man. Like, it's all pentatonic. Not even a flat five, or a six, or a three, or a two in there. Just a pentatonic. So I'm just saying, if I can do that with a pentatonic, you can do something else with a pentatonic. Or that, but change it a little so it doesn't sound like me. And uh, you can also do, also do something like this. <laughs> That's all pentatonic too. And so was this. All right, so uh, that's it, man. This guitar kicks ass. I really like it. Just another guitar I'm gonna steal when nobody's looking. And see you real soon.